What? Hmm. Let's go on a quest in the mind hmm, of God. What does Psalm 150 mean? Okay. So verse 1. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his, his sanctuary. Praise him in the, his mighty heavens. Should we praise God in specific places? Hmm. In this verse, the sanctuary probably refers to the temple in Jerusalem. You know that uh, nowadays it's, we are the believers. Jesus Christ is Lord, their Lord. They're the temples of the Holy Spirit. Okay. So, uh, basic center of worship in Israel is the temple. The phrase mighty heavens refers to the sky. In essence, the message is like this. Let praise to God be given everywhere, surpassing greatness. Hmm. Why should we praise God? That's a good question. There are many reasons, many reasons to praise God. This psalm mentions only two. We are to praise God for one, his acts of power, which refers primarily to his acts of deliverance. Okay. Though perhaps also to his power in creation, power in deliverance, power in creation from God, and his surpassing greatness, which refers to who God is. We see God as the liberer, God as the creator, and God is surpassing greatness based on who he is. Okay, Psalm 153 of 5. How should we praise God? With everything we are and have, God is worthy the best we can offer in our worship, regardless of our abilities and limitations. We are the bodies of the Holy Spirit. Honor King Jesus. Holy Spirit, represented by the dove here, is representative of Comforter. Stand by. Stand by. A real or truth. A source of all surpassing peace. The Spirit lives in all who believe that Jesus Christ is Lord of their lives. That's right. Their lives. Time for a little bit of finding out who God is. Psalm 11, 7. For the Lord is righteous. He loves justice. Upright men. People, upright people will see his face. Psalm 145, verse 13. The Lord is faithful. All to all his promises. And loving toward all he has made. Psalm 100, verse 5. The Lord God is mercy everlasting, and his truth, his truth endureth to all generations. All generations. Honor King Jesus. Oh, yeah.